Hello, welcome to Flip. So now we are on macromolecules and this is the final portion for this whole organic series. Okay, so now we are on condensation polymers, which is, uh, if you recall, uh, I told you if we have a brick, okay, we add it with another brick, say a yellow brick, okay, we will actually get uh, a product that is not really, um, in a sense, equal. Okay, we'll get maybe say 1.5. Okay, if I take 1 plus 1, okay, I'll get maybe 1.5 plus a little bit of chipped off uh, white and yellow brick. Okay, this is what we mean by condensation. Okay, later I'll tell you what was this all about. Compare it to our uh, addition polymer, which is really 1 brick plus another brick, you really get uh, two bricks. Okay, so this is the difference between them. Addition is really just adding up two things, whereas condensation is adding them up, but something will be uh, evoked. Okay, so we will talk about what was this later. So there are two uh, products that actually do this condensation. One is nylon, second one is terralin. We'll start with nylon first. Nylon, okay, this is, uh, okay, I, I drew before you watch this video. Okay, that's because to save time. Okay, uh, first one, nylon is really formed via condensation, which means via this way, okay, this way. Let me explain to you what condensation really is with nylon. So, uh, before that, let's, let's run through this. Nylon is a polyamide, means it has many amide bonds. Okay, this is an amide bond, okay, it's, it's uh, a little foreign to you right now, but as you do uh, more practices, this will become very familiar. Um, so, it has many amide bonds that's why it's poly amide poly means many amide means uh this one so it's many amide bonds it's a reaction between okay this is uh between a oh and a sorry it's a reaction between nh okay two and c o o h okay the nh2 loses h COH loses OH. Okay, let me explain to you with an example. So this is, what do you call this? This thing is an acid, carboxylic acid. Do you agree? Carboxylic acid. Why? Because it has this COH functional group behind and in front as well. This box really means nothing. Okay, this means that you can fill with anything. You can fill with a carbon uh, chain. You can fill with uh, any anything anything really okay so this is just a uh, uh, abbreviation to show that you can feel with anything okay this is also the same thing it's just that different colors one is shaded one is not shaded so you have here carboxylic acid here you have a what do you have you have a amine correct which is just nh nh2 uh, bonded to something okay do you agree there are two nh2 groups front and back so, what do we mean by condensation is really when you take the first uh, reactant, carboxylic acid, plus the amine, you get something and another thing. <laughs> okay, what do I mean? Look at this OH here. We say that COH loses OH. So, this one, we draw it already, pink color. Uh, amine group loses H. So, this guy, OH and H will form a H2O. And with that, look at this C. Okay, this yellow C. Okay, and this yellow N. They will now bond together. They will now combine. And that is how you will get a, a polyamide. When this two when this two group leaves, okay, it leaves away, it goes out. Okay. This C and this N will combine to form an amide. But of course it doesn't stop there. This one can form with another amine here. This H can form with another acid here. So it's uh, repetitive. Uh, carboxylic acid, amine, carboxylic acid, amine, etc. Okay, so with that, you can form N number of uh, reactions. Okay, N simply means uh, many. Okay, just, just, just know that it stands for many. So you can have 100. N equals to 100, for example. That means 100 different amides are being formed okay hopefully it's clear and really this is the amide bond that we are looking at 
Okay, if you recognize, this is the same as this. Okay, if we form this, this is an A mite already. Okay, which is C double bond and O bonded to an N, the N is bonded to a H. Okay, this is an A mite bond. So poly A mite is really used for uh, three things. This is just a memory work, fishing line, parachute, and sleeping bag. Okay, this is just memory work. With this, let's move on to terulin. It's the same concept. Okay, terulin is also condensation polymerization, which is uh, the same thing as above. It's a polyester, means it's made up of many ester bonds. This is how ester bond looked like. Uh, it's a reaction between, okay, now it's different, between OH and COOH. The COOH is the same, it loses OH. And in this case, instead of NH2, now it's the OH losing the H. Okay, OH is alcohol, am I right? Whereas this is still the carboxylic acid. Okay, same thing here. I lose this OH here as per this statement here. Alcohol loses a H. This one goes out to become water. Okay, so actually there should be water here. Okay, and maybe this use green color. This C will now join to this O. Okay, let me just draw the whole thing out. This C will join to the O. Okay, and this, as you recognize, is a amide bond. Eh, sorry, it's a ester bond. And this is called a polyester because this portion can also bond with another alcohol. This portion can also bond with another carboxylic acid. So it's uh, alternates, okay? Alcohol, carboxylic acid, alcohol, carboxylic acid. And with this, you can form n number of uh, amide, uh, ester bonds, okay? And so it's n here. So it's very important to draw this bracket n with an n, okay? And this, this thing should protrude out. Okay, hopefully it's clear. So you just have to show one amide bond and they will understand that it's a polyamide. Okay, let's move on. Oh, sorry, before that, terulin is used for clothings and curtains. Okay, this is just a very good material because it's uh, it's it's very tough. Okay, so it's good for these two purposes. Now, let's move on to a very small... um. A very small portion, yet yeah, it's very important in our world, the world around us. So pollution is really, uh, we are using too much plastics in the world, okay? Uh, from straws to plastic bags to cling wraps to a lot of things, right? So it pollutes the environment and really burning them produces toxic gases, okay? So it's not really good for our uh, environment, okay? So we really should substitute with uh, better alternatives such as like paper straws, for example. What else? What else can you think of? Paper bags, okay? So all these things are good initiative um, by the different societies to decrease plastic usages. Okay, but of course for O levels, this is what we have to write to uh, get our marks, okay? Plastics are useful, but they are very, um, they are bad for the environment. Okay, hopefully this video helps you.